Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at bulgarianpod101.com. 10 phrases you always want to hear. So are you ready to start complimenting other people? Let's go! Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. You look great today. Now, it's something that I would like to point your attention on. It's the word strahotno, which is literally translated as scary, by the way, because it uh, derives from the word strašno, which is scary. So Bulgarians use it in a way of saying great, but it's funny how uh, it sounds when you think about it. You look scary today. And it sounds such a normal thing to say in Bulgarian, by the way. Uh, so use it everywhere you go. You look wonderful today. You look great today. Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. Lipsvaš mi. Lipsvaš mi. I miss you. Yes, this is something uh, either say, say too rarely or we do say excessively. I do encourage everybody to find a balance in it. And this comes from meaning it uh, from your heart. I am going to miss you until the next episode. Ste mi lipsvate. Svrši čudesna rabota. Svrši čudesna rabota. You did a great job. Yes, uh, I do believe that if somebody hears this phrase more often, they're not only going to be flattered, but they will uh, improve their work overall. Svrši čudesna rabota. Ште има bonus в края на месеца. Ште има bonus в края на месеца. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. It's definitely what everybody would like to hear if they have done a good job. Even if they have not done a good job, it will make them do a better job. Because imagine if you're doing something for many years and you don't receive any kind of appreciation for that. Not even a single small thing. So the bonus is definitely something you should use to make somebody do better work. Ti gotviš prevashodno. Ti gotviš prevashodno. You're an excellent cook. Yes, everybody would like to hear that, even though sometimes you may burn the dish, but your friends are there to support you, so they may be saying, oh, as, as if they're mocking you. Ti si prevashodan gotvač. Ti gotviš prevashodno. You are an exceptional cook. Uh, well, the more you burn dishes, I know, the better you become as a cook, so please never stop cooking. Pučini si. Aš ще почистя днес. Почини си. Аз ще почистя днес. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Open the heart and the doors to every mother's heart. Guaranteed, proof, read and checked and all that. И вие печелите! И... Vie pečelite. And you win. I uh, specifically think that if you invest the money you spend on scratch tickets into something else, you are on the winning side of spending your money. For sure. Ti beše prav. Ti beše prav. You were right. Why is it so hard to admit something like that? I don't know. Maybe because Bulgarian people, they think they know everything about everything. Uh, from science to sport to politics to anything. Uh, so please say it uh, even though people are not right. Nosi ti nešto specialno. Nosia ti nešto specialno. I brought you something special. It is very intriguing and exciting to hear something like that, isn't it? Uh, unless this special something is a cat. And there you can bid farewell to your living room couch. 
Бюджетът е неограничен. Бюджетът е неограничен. The budget is unlimited. Can you imagine a world where there is no money or, or there is a budget but it's unlimited? What are the things that everybody can do? Everybody can accomplish their dreams no matter how far-fetched are they. You can even uh, go to the end of the universe if there is such. Mm-hmm. So, unlimited budget, unlimited dreams. Make it happen. Добра вечер. Извинете, меню ако обичате. Разбира се. Извинете, вода ако обичате. Веднага. Извинете, искам да поръчам. Да. Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use извинете and other words when apologizing in Bulgarian. We should use извинете in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, извинете едно кафе моля. Excuse me, a coffee please. We can also use it when asking a question. Извинете къде се намира храм Александър Невски? Excuse me, where is the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral? Sometimes we also hear people say Ako obichate, which means the same thing when you want to draw someone's attention. We only use this phrase in formal speech. Ako obichate. The informal way to say excuse me is Izvinyavai. Izvinyavai. Just like извинете, we can use извинявай when asking a question or when apologizing. We can also use the word прощавай. Прощавай. You might hear this phrase translated as forgive me in English, but it's not formal or strong at all. Bulgarian people use it in very casual situations. Its formal version in second person plural is прощавайте. All of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is съжалявам. It means I'm sorry and can be used in both formal and informal situations. Съжалявам. This verb is in the first person singular form. So it basically means I'm sorry. You can use this expression anytime you wish to apologize. Now it's time for Eva's insights. Please remember that in Bulgaria, if you accidentally bump into someone, we don't say I'm sorry, съжалявам. Instead we say извинете, excuse me, or прощавайте, forgive me. Oh, uh, извинете. Да. Кръкът ми. О, oh, съжалявам. In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Bulgaria. Готови ли сте? Are you ready? Да започваме! So let's start! The most used informal greeting is Здрасти! Здрасти! Здрасти means hi or hello. We should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. There is one more word which is informal way to say hello. Здравей! It has the same meaning as здрасти and is used when we speak only with one person. Здравей! And now let's continue with the formal way to greet people. The most general version is Добър ден! Добър ден! Literally, Добър ден means good day. So, as a rule, we can use Добър ден only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say Добър вечер. Добър вечер. Вечер is Bulgarian for evening, so Добър вечер means good evening. During the morning, we say Добро утро. 
Dobro utro. Utro is Bulgarian for morning. Dobro utro, dobar den and dobar večer are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we use another word. In this formal situation, Bulgarian people use Dovizdane. Dovizdane. Dovizdane means goodbye. Finally, in Bulgarian, we have an expression meaning see you soon that can be considered both formal and informal. Do skoro. Do skoro. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Bulgarian. Let's review them all again. When meeting in an informal situation, zdrasti or zdravej for one person. When meeting older people or someone we don't know in the different times of the day, dobro utro, dobar den, dobar večer. When living in a formal situation, dovištane. When living, no matter whether it is a formal or informal situation, do skoro. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Eva's insights. Remember, merci from the last lesson. Bulgarian uses a lot of words borrowed from other languages and we also have one for goodbye. Ciao! Just like Italian. This is actually the phrase you will hear the most in Bulgaria. Friends often say it to each other when leaving. Try to say it to your Bulgarian friends. Ciao! In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Gotovi liste? Are you ready? Da započvame! So let's start! There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Bogudarja. Bogudarja. Bogudarja means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add mnogo. Mnogo bogudarja. Mnogo bogudarja. Mnogo means a lot. So mnogo bogudarja is like saying thank you very much. During the last lesson, we mentioned both the informal and the formal way of speaking Bulgarian. Bogudarja is the most common way to thank someone. If you want to be more casual, there is another word you should use and you will be amazed which word that is. Merci. Merci. Merci is a loan word from French, but it is pronounced with the typical Bulgarian hard R. R. It is used mainly in informal situations. Merci. How do you answer? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is Nyama zašto? Nyama zašto? Nyama zašto literally means there is no reason, but it is the equivalent of don't mention it. The other way to say you're welcome is the word mola. Mola. Literally, this word means I beg or please, but it has become a common way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone says Bogudaria to you, we can simply reply with Nyama zašto or mola. Now it's time for Eva's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use merci or bogudarja, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Bogudarja can be used with just about anyone, anywhere and at any time.